Hi there, I'm David G from Juniper Networks and in this Juniper Terraform Automation Framework video, an engineer will take you through the steps required to generate a BGP Junos Terraform provider from a set of known configuration. In the previous video, we generated some configuration related with the interfaces here. In this example, we'll try to generate BGP related configuration we will use these XPaths to generate the provider for BGP. This is under protocols here. I've already have a yin file and XPath generated for the protocols here. Let's find out uh, BGP for the in the yang file. As you can see, this has container which uses a grouping based system so we will see now in here it is a bit difficult to find out the exact xpaths so we already have the xpaths generated in text format so we will use that and try to find out the exact elements so what it seems to be the parent seems to be protocols then bgp so we will try to generate the same protocols bgp then local as as you can see this has just single element as number so this is what is required we'll copy the xpath we will generate we'll add it in a xpath file to generate the provider for the same as you can see, BGP is also a very huge container. So it is not recommended to generate a provider at BGP level. So we will just verify it for the sake. It has oh, just a sec, BGP. So this goes for again thousands of elements so this is not recommended to generate it at bgp level there are thousands of elements for the same more than ten thousands probably so we'll generate it at uh, sub hierarchies so if the, if you also need loops private then you can generate it at local as level because local as it's a smaller container which is five elements but uh, for this configuration as it is just as number so i'm generating the X provider for a leaf element uh, just for the sake uh, for this example i will probably generate it at the container level for local as so in case the user wants to set both all as number loop private alias they can do that so the next thing is uh, group so we will search for group and check how big the group container list is so group again is a big it's quite big so it's not recommended for a group also so in that case we will just set the subcategories which is type so we will generate a provider for this no it is to be here Then the next is neighbor, which is under group hierarchy. So we will search for neighbor and check how is biggest neighbor. Neighbor again has lots of elements, so not recommended here also. So in this case, the sub element for neighbor is peer as. Now as uh, name is a key element, so we don't need to generate uh, provider specifically for key elements because any pro list uh, when we generate a provider key element is added by default so we need peer as we will generate for peer as so 
so even though we had uh, uh, multiple things here but again for external uh, name is auto is automatically be generated similarly for peer as name will automatically be generated so we don't need to create provider specifically for them so for this configuration we will need to generate three modules so we will generate them and uh, as you can see three modules are generated so for uh, we will check if this name is generated properly or not so it will be in neighbor so if you see uh, protocols bgp group so this has been three levels of container which has optimized then we have neighbor as you can see the key element is already there so that can be configured so this looks fine similarly we will check for type as type also has a name which is already generated so it looks fine for local as also we have since we generated the container level so it generated all the elements present there so in case we have hierarchies like this where a top level container or list has lots of elements it is always recommended we generate multiple modules you can always set the complete list in one configuration file but for generating providers it, you should be dividing it into multiple different sets thank you